Meteorologist Joe Hansel here. I got you a Monday morning edition of your mountain forecast. And thanks for tuning in. Waking up to a cloudy sky, dry at least at this point in the Loveland ski area. Might be some localized light snow showers in some of the mountain areas above 9,000 feet. Got a weak short wave passing through. Enough to stir up some clouds and some isolated snow, but that's just the start. We have another active and unsettled forecast ahead. We are watching for more snow, some more additions to the snowpack out there. Maybe some valley rain tonight as well, and then Tuesday into Wednesday, main push with a trough of low pressure and a surface front. Take these numbers with a grain of salt, but we could get some accumulating snow in some of the low elevation areas. Uh, we will bounce back and forth between precipitation types in the valleys. Snow levels today are at 5,000 feet this morning, out the door. Uh, snow levels should increase to 6,000 feet by this evening, up to 7,000 feet early tomorrow morning. There are no winter weather advisories for us as I uh, record this, but uh, to our west in Utah, the Wasatch Mountains, the western Uintas, got winter weather advisories out there. We could see some areas in Utah, our friends to the west, push two feet of snow. I am watching for amounts, potentially at least the four to eight inch range for the southern San Juans with some upslope on the way later this week, Tuesday night into Wednesday. And we could see some at least moderate snow totals for the central and northern mountains as well. Today, most of us are dry. Above average for highs in the 30s and 40s. We're in for a warming trend for the next few days before that trough swings through. May still be some locally moderate to strong gusts of wind today, especially in the higher elevations. Be mindful of that. And veil some gusts over 20 miles per hour possible for you. Most of us are dry today, maybe some of the valleys, some light rain or a light wintry mix, and then some light snow showers tonight into tomorrow. The main push of showers will be sometime late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, lingering through at least the first half of Wednesday. So this will be our one chance of accumulating snow through the week before we get a break for a while. For Denver and Colorado Springs, highs in the 50s for most of you for the next couple of days. Chance of some light showers for eastern Colorado midweek Wednesday. Steamboat Springs, 35 today. Rocky Mountain National Park near 39. Can certainly see a few inches of snow. Stay with us Tuesday night through Wednesday. And then dry and colder to finish out the week. Thursday and Friday. Thursday high of 28. Sunlight near 35. Vail got you near 36 for your high today after that cold start. You could see a few inches of snow as well off and on through Wednesday. Heaviest Tuesday night into Wednesday potentially. Uh, stay with us for any updates on that forecast. Breckenridge near 34. Loveland Ski, you're at 24 below freezing today. You could see some light to moderate snow as well. For Again, that goes without saying for the northern and central mountains to the south. We could see some upslope, provide some heavy snow showers. Telluride 35, chance of rain today. And then potentially some uh, heavy snow Tuesday into Wednesday. Back to you.